Take a look into the electronic future. IFA, the world's leading trade show for consumer electronics and home appliances, opened in Berlin. Up to 1,500 exhibitors and around 240,000 visitors tuned in to how they might be watching television in the years ahead, surfing the net on a tablet or using their mobile smartphone to connect with all sorts of tasks. If you've just bought a 3D television, well, it's almost out of date already. This year, the star of the exhibition was the 4K high definition. The name comes from the horizontal resolution, around 4,000 pixels, a lot more than current HD screens. All the top brands were on display, and if you're thinking of replacing that 3D, you won't get any change out of 25,000 euros for this Sony Bravia. 4K TV is a very important, it's the next generation of television. It has four times the resolution of conventional high definition. So the panels are very, very big. People have this very immersive experience watching TV. Samsung, fresh from its high-profile legal battle with Apple, launched its latest Galaxy Note with a highly accurate electronic pen. The processor is faster and the software adapted for the stylus, called the S Pen, the phone's signature feature. The 14cm HD 16.9 screen is narrower but longer than on the first version. The price isn't known yet but could be around 700 euros. This seems a normal video conference screen, but the voice is transmitted in high definition quality, so talking and listening to the person on the other end is clearer and sharper. The quality of audio from this next generation video telephony on smart TVs is as good as a CD. Because of that, it's reckoned it will pave the way for smart TVs to become the number one communication device in the living room. Fraunhofer, the German research institute, exhibited this latest technology. They also showed, with this dialogue enhancement device, how in the future you'll be able to choose the sound you want on your TV. With the slide of a switch, you can have more ambient sound and less of the commentator at a tennis match, for instance. If you nod off watching a match with Renew, developed by the British startup Gear 4, you'll be able to adjust your sleep habit. It's equipped with sensors and is used together with an iPad or iPhone. It shows your sleep patterns from when you go to bed until when you wake up. It tells you how long you slept, how long in a deep sleep, how many times you woke up and how long it took you to fall asleep. You can track the quality of your sleep over months. It costs around 200 euros. You set a wake up window of between 20 minutes and one hour. Um, you then press go to sleep and Renew uses a, um, a biometric sensor behind this plate to track your, your breathing and your movement down to the, the micro millimeter movements of your skin. From this, it knows where you are in your sleep cycle, so it knows if you're awake, in light sleep or in deep sleep. It tracks you through the night as you, go, as you move through your sleep cycles and it then wakes you at the optimum time within a period of light sleep within this wake-up window. Another British company, Ecovax, showed how robots can help around the house. These ones clean windows and know where to go and where to stop. Famibot is equipped with Wi-Fi and links up with your mobile phone. It costs around 500 euros. For example, if you go on holidays, the standard question when checking in is, oh, did I turn off the stove? Uh, no problem, you can take out your smartphone and guide the uh, Famibot to the kitchen and look visually really on the stove if it's switched off or not. If the motion sensor is sensing a movement in your home, the Famibot will automatically send an SMS to your mobile phone that says there's an intruder. So you can check with him, is the intruder your mother watering the flowers or is it a thief?